Yes, yeah, so we'll start off by uh, lobby tour. Looks uh, open air, lots of seating on the left and uh, right here. Better check in uh, over there. A few people checking in. Looks like they got their drinks uh, already. It's good. the travel agent section here where you can uh, book your excursions, find out when you're when you're going to pick up for your return flight. I got some uh, gift shop. Oh, the entertainment section's at the front of the resort. That's uh, a little unusual. Looks like a pretty nice uh, stage set up here. Lots of seating. You can sit back and chat or get in the front seats there to get a better look at the the show and of course the uh, requisite lobby bar hola, hola amigo hey. lots of rum up there <laughs> alright so now we're heading back uh, to the kind of main uh, corridor in the uh, Love area. Up, uh, you can kind of see in the background there. There's a cool uh, pool there, so we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that. Now we're just entering the uh, main pool area. You can see they've got a nice uh, site map here. Zoom in a bit. Actually, quite nice. I got the site map all over the place here, so. Uh, Hard to get lost. Okay, let's take a uh, swing around the right here. Definitely uh, not too busy uh, here this week. Emory's uh, Flamenco was uh, pretty high capacity, I'd say, for uh, compared to the other resorts here uh, this week. You can see, uh, I think around 11 o'clock uh, in the morning here, you see a few kids uh, swimming around in the pool here. Bridge to the other side. Or pull on this side. And uh, requisite beach bar. Pull a good selection of rums, etc. All right, let's take a look around this way. Looks like there's a little waiting pool for kids uh, over there. Check that out. Uh, also, a swim up bar over here. Looks like they got a few more, a uh, little better selection there. Probably worth checking out if you come. Should get a little. Waiting pool here for little kids. So definitely a family uh, friendly resort. Looks maybe a couple of feet uh, deep. Good for splashing around. Huh? We've got some little toddlers here uh, running around. And it looks like we have a little kid zone here. The play structure actually looks half decent. Some swings, another little waiting pool here. Lots of palm trees here. The uh, groundskeepers are doing a good job. The grass looks in good shape. Lots of, lots of shrubs and trees and flowers. It's a pretty nice, uh, well-kept resort. Now, this is kind of interesting. Uh, most of the resorts here in Keokoko uh, that I've been to uh, only have uh, Wi-Fi uh, kind of in the main buildings. But I'm looking at this wire here, and uh, looks like Ethernet uh, Cat 5 wire. So I'm going to guess they're going to start uh, wiring up uh, the rooms for, uh, for Wi-Fi, which would be really nice. Yeah, definitely they got some... Uh, 
table set out here. I clearly uh, yeah this must be uh, lunch here it is. I quit lunchtime. Hola. It's really nice sitting here. Uh, nice table wear out. And it's quite nice. Little patio section. Ah, looks like we got the. Uh, starting to get the food ready. Hola. Hola. Workers are busy uh, getting the lunch food all out. A little bit early for lunch, though. Ah, here we go. Bungalow number four. Let's see what kind of a view we can get from here. And it looks like there's about 17 rooms on each floor, three floors, so three times 17. Is that 51 units all together? Yeah, so if you don't like doing stairs, I uh, recommend uh, getting the lower unit one, but uh, personally I'd uh, always go for the view. Oh, it's well kept, freshly, freshly painted here, looks very clean. All right, so I'm gonna take a little room tour here. Looks, uh, figure out where the lights are. Here we go. Oh, wow, quite nice. Uh, toilet, shower, vanity. Very clean, safe, some drawers, like it. So we're just uh, changing over the room here. Oh yeah, and you do get a very nice uh, view of the ocean here. Decent size uh, balcony. And uh, let me just zoom, uh, zoom a bit on this here. Yeah, so you can see the beach even. Huh. That's nice. Yeah, this would be a nice room. Close to the walkway. There's that little beach hut down there. A little bit of view of the beach and the ocean. All right. Gracias, amigo. All right, we're just... Uh, Exiting uh, Bungalow 4. And we get some other bungalows there. They probably get an okay view as well, but uh, yeah, I think Bungalow 4 would be my choice. I'm not sure if you get to pick your rooms, but uh, hey, if they come with your site map and then when they're checking you in or whatever, uh, especially if you've been to the resort before, they might give you preference and uh, get to pick, uh, pick which bungalow you're in, etc. I think right, right now the resort's pretty uh, pretty empty, so they may only have a couple of the uh, the bungalows open just to simplify things for the uh, house sleeping. And back in the clubhouse, the library books, excellent. Hello, amigo. All right, so we got some uh, music going on here. Looks like we've got an outdoor uh, patio as well for lunch. <laughs> All right, we got a little uh, foot washing station here. It's functional, which is uh, always appreciated. A pretty short walk. Uh, on the boardwalk here. Now the swing back there, you can kind of see the, uh, the bungalow in the, the background there. I was uh, climbed up. You can see there's a pretty high vegetation here. So. I'm not sure you'd see much from the second floor, I don't know, but the third floor definitely uh, got a good view. Hold on. All right, so the best part, the beach. And, uh... Oh, uh <laughs> it's 
like we got the, uh, the peach, uh, peach alcohol here. It looks good. And snack bar. Looks excellent as well. <laughs> uh, well done. Must be getting close to lunchtime. Everyone's uh, heading in. Got some uh, soccer nets, some music here. All right, let's go check the beach out. I gotta say the beach here, uh, I think this is called Flamenco Beach. It's, uh, it's fantastic. I saw sand. Sailing's excellent too. There's, speaking over the right here, you can see there's a point way out there. That blocks all the waves. So there's, you know, talking to locals here, it never gets wavy. It's always calm. You know, maybe a couple inches of waves at max. Get a pretty strong wind. It's great for sailing. Uh, also great for keeping the bugs down. Um, yeah, the mosquitoes uh, at nighttime are uh, <laughs> can be pretty ferocious here. <laughs> so definitely bring your bug juice. Uh, they do they do smoke down the resorts uh, kind of nightly, uh, etc. Which helps quite a bit in the common areas. But uh, if you're at somewhere else, um, yeah, you're gonna get bitten. All right, for thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Again, if you're not already subscribed, uh, please do and. Uh, to get my future updates. Uh, thanks very much.